Hey there, and welcome to Holy Convocation Week here at New Heart Ministries, 1328 Hurst Street, Daytona Beach, Florida, 32117. We want to see you here this week, July 27th through the 29th. Now, I want to bring you formal greetings from the music department with New Heart Ministries. I am Ardelia Janelle Butts, your music and creative director of worship arts here with New Heart Ministries. We are so excited with what God is doing with the music department, and we want to continue to focus on worship, praise, and enhancing the overall experience of what we embody as worshipers, as Christians, as those who are a part of the body of Christ. Let me say this, as we focus as directors, as leaders, as musicians, as vocalists, we have to know that it not only begins with a relationship, but we have to build upon that relationship. We don't just get up and sing. We don't just make notes come together and build harmonies and sing in unison and unite together, but there's a method behind the madness of our preparation. And I wanna make this key point. Do not let anyone tell you that when you are in ministry that it does not take preparation to present your best ministry to Christ. I know a lot of times when we deal with the secular world, we prepare for things musically and we prepare for gigs and concerts and we give our best and do the things that we need to so that we can have that crisp sound or that perfect sound. But when we're working in ministry and when we are putting forth our music to worship, that takes preparation. That means we rehearse. That means that we prepare properly. That means that we learn our lyrics. That means that we study the music that we're preparing to minister because if we have not prepared ourselves to lend the efforts of ministry out, there's no way that anyone that we're lending it to can receive what we are giving if we have not yet received it ourselves. To my music directors, to those who are worship leaders, choir directors, in your ministries, prepare your vocalists. Talk to your musicians, gather with each other, sit down and have Bible study sessions, ask questions, have prayer, come together and unite. We are ministry focused and we have to make sure that we are steadfast in our efforts to be Christ leaders first before we do anything else. It's okay to sound good and it's okay to be well in what you do, but you want to lead with the heart of Christ. And if you lead with the heart of Christ, those around you that follow your leadership will lead with the heart of Christ. Now, let's talk about some discipline. Yes, sometimes when we deal with ministry, we say, oh, let's just get together and sing, or oh, we'll make the notes come together and it'll be fine. But in ministry, in music ministry specifically, and this is dear to me, we must prepare our vocalists and our musicians. Take time to explain what it is to breathe properly, to hold notes properly, to sing notes, how to hear your notes. If you're a soprano, what your tone and, and timbre should sound like. If you're an alto, how to find the third to connect things. These things our singers need to learn because we don't want them to just vocalize. Our music, musicians, we don't want them to just play. We want them to be skillful when they are giving their gifts back to the Lord, when they are bringing people in to usher in the spirit of Christ. We want to play skillfully. We want to sing skillfully and give something to God that presents our best worship, our best praise. Here with New Heart Ministries, our bishop often says, in the spirit of excellence we work and nothing less is unacceptable because God always gives us excellence. He always gives us his best. So just to recap, we always wanna prepare our vocalists and our musicians. Take time to teach them the skill of what they're presenting to the people. Make sure that you, the leader, the worshiper, the director, okay? Make sure that you are focused on building your relationship with Christ so that when you come before those who follow you, and are under your leadership, they have an example to bridge that gap so it connects them to the music spiritually. And most importantly, always enjoy what you're doing. Christ enjoys that we can enjoy him. And when we do that in the spirit of excellence, 
we can't go wrong. I thank you for tuning in. Again, I am Ardelia Janelle Buds. I am the music and creative director of Worship Arts here with New Heart Ministries. We love you. We thank God for you. And we're looking forward to a wonderful worship and praise experience this Holy Convocation with New Heart Ministries 22. We'll see you this week.